Hi everyone. Welcome back to Nest Artfully. This is a rather busy time of the year with most of us planning for the festivities and cleaning and decorating our homes. So I thought this would be a good time to share some tips and tricks for cleaning and organizing the house. These work for me and I hope you find them useful too. Tip number 1. The living room is where several random free-floating objects end up. Put them together in an aesthetic straw basket to organize and decorate in a single move. You can purchase options like this locally for a budget-friendly deal. I find baskets like these very good to store several items that add to the clutter anywhere in the house. But if you don't have such baskets, You can even use cardboard boxes that come with your purchases. You can do them up with simple DIYs for more aesthetic results and store products such as cosmetics, medicines and other miscellaneous items to keep your home looking organized. Tip number 2 Visible wires add to the visual clutter and can pop up even in the most well-planned homes. Look around to see if you can move existing furniture to house or hide such wiring as we have with this unit that holds our internet-related wiring as well as the intercom telephone we rarely use. You can also use insulation or cello tape to keep wires in line with objects to create a clean look. Tip number 3. Regardless of whether you own a dishwasher or not, I have found dishwasher detergent extremely effective at certain cleaning tasks. They are great with clearing up grime, algae and dirt in tough to clean products such as glass vases, giving you gleaming clean glassware every time. Simply add a bit of dishwasher powder to your dirty vase, pour in hot water, and let it sit for a while before rinsing it with clean water. Tip number 4. If you want an easy way to add some shine to your old and dull furniture, you can simply rub some oil on the surface and wipe down with a cloth. This trick also helps hide superficial scratches. Products such as Vaseline or even hair serum work well. Be careful to test a small patch before applying to larger surfaces. Tip number 5. Get professional help. Even with all the tips and tricks in the world, as a mom of two little kids, I often feel overwhelmed by the amount of pending tasks. It also feels impossible to reset my entire home in one day. So I decided to get professional help from No Broker in deep cleaning my home. They had all the services I needed from cleaning sofa and mattresses to deep cleaning bathrooms and windows inside out. Initially, I was worried about managing the kids while the service personnel worked and how long they would take to finish up. However, they worked in a timely and efficient manner cleaning every nook and corner of the house. by the committed time this included removing salt stains from our bathroom fittings wiping down our furniture wardrobes decor knickknacks cleaning out our kitchen cabinets and even fans and lights lastly they scrubbed clean the floors and left our home sparkling clean everywhere i can't quite put in words how i felt that evening seeing my entire home cleaned up in my opinion Getting professional help like this from time to time is absolutely worth it as it would have never been possible for me otherwise to give my home such a major refresh. Tip number 6. Now I need to ensure the maintenance of my clean and organized home. I recently stumbled on the shaving foam hack to clean stubborn spots on mirrors. Use a microfiber cloth and a small amount of shaving foam to clean mirrors and they even work on other surfaces 
such as laminated cabinet doors which I otherwise find messy to clean. Tip number 7. Kitchen is a high traffic space and tends to get dirty often. Especially the area around the stove can hold oil, grime and dirt making it a tough task to maintain. Grooves in the backsplash tiles make this job even harder. I find taking a minute to put oil stickers in place greatly help. Tip number 8 The next tip is one I personally find very useful to keep my kitchen clutter free and that is to store all unused food products in movable bins. I keep one to store all unopened products and the other to store all open products that are sealed with a sealing clip. This keeps my small kitchen clean and organized easily. Tip number 9. You can protect the tops of your kitchen cabinets by simply lining them up with some old newspaper to protect them from oil and grime which are extremely hard to clean. Tip number 10. Dust is something we all struggle with and cleaning out dust is a never-ending task. Some objects like speakers are harder to clean. Never use a wet cloth to clean dust on rough surfaces. Instead, I find it easiest to remove dust with a lint roller on delicate surfaces such as these. My last tip for this video is to find ways to utilize the doors of wardrobes to store some simple daily use products such as bags and caps by simply putting up some peel and stick hooks. With the home all clean and organized, it is time for me to get started on our entryway makeover. I want to make the space feel functional as well as inviting. I'm going to dress up the wall with a bit of peel and stick wallpaper in a lovely geometric pattern with a gold print. I will put back the round mirror and move on to putting up some metal floating shelves we purchased from IKEA. I will now add some decor knickknacks. A bowl to hold our keys. A DIY tea light holder and some whimsical details. The space also has a runner rug and some seating. I feel the entryway now looks festive, inviting and comfy without any major purchases or effort. It has everything needed to make a great first impression when guests come over as well as a functional and comfortable space for our daily use. How do you like this space now? Do let me know if you found this video helpful and inspiring in the comment section. Thank you as always for watching and have a great day and take care.